In recent weeks, we've seen a spike in young sportsmen becoming victim to a common online sex scam. The so-called sex extortion scams are not aimed at sportsmen, they're aimed at all men across social media. They're cruel, they're deeply upsetting, but they're easily avoided if you employ one simple rule. Be very careful about how you communicate with someone who slides into your DMs. The way the current scam is working is pretty simple. An Instagram account which looks like it belongs to an attractive woman, like this one, slides into your DMs. Scammers have started to become a little more subtle. The profile picture nowadays won't be a woman who is scantily clad, that would be too obvious. And their initial approach is subtle too. They just want to chat. And before long, they want to chat on Snapchat. Why? Because they know that people will take more risks on Snapchat, because they think it's safe. And when the chat starts to become sexual, they hope the lab will be naive enough to agree to send some naked selfies. Once a victim has sent naked pictures, the tone then changes. He quickly finds out that he's been scammed, and that's when the blackmail commences. Demanded huge payments, or they'll send the naked images which they've downloaded using the software they have on specially set up computers to the victim's followers on Instagram. These scammers are a big operation. They're working in call centres in places like Morocco and the Philippines and yes, you guessed it, the victims aren't even fantasising with women. These are male scammers using stolen photos and videos to impersonate them. Sharing sexual photos and videos with someone you know in real life is extremely risky. I always advise against it. But sharing with a stranger on the internet will almost always end in disaster. But it is important that anyone who is a victim doesn't panic. These criminal operations are a wholesale operation. They rely on numbers. The whole plan is based on keeping you scared. If they think you're scared, they'll continue to message you and threaten you, and they may even start sending a few pictures to your followers so that you get even more afraid. You must immediately block the scammer. Remove all methods for them to contact you. If they can't contact you, they can't continue to blackmail you, and they'll just move on to another victim and never, ever, ever pay them. If you pay them once, they know you're really scared, so they'll come back for more, just like this one. We are regularly reporting accounts and having them deleted by Instagram so that they can't scam others. But of course, the scammers will set up more and more accounts. It's a growing problem with some disastrous consequences where a victim's shame becomes too much for him to bear. We are so keen that young men are more savvy online and understand that life is not one big porn movie even on the internet. It's not normal communication to start talking about sex with someone you've never met before. And if you think it is, then you might make some dangerously bad decisions. But if it does happen to you, as I say, don't panic. Get help, get advice, block all communications. This will pass. And you'll be wiser and more sensible for it.